Strobos pendula. This is a, a pine, a white pine. And this is the time of the year. It's uh, almost November. I see a lot of conifers. They have brown needles on the inside. Don't get scared. It's normal for a lot of them. They will lose and shed. As you can see here, everything on the bottom. Clean this out. They will lose a lot of stuff on the inside. Getting ready for the next year to push out new growth. You see this branch right here? This guy has grown in the last eight months. So a tree cannot grow, 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 grow nonstop without losing any older needles. So conifers, they're not deciduous, but a lot of them do lose older needles. I'm pulling out now. Do I need to do that? No, but I'm a perfectionist. It bothers me. Now, can customers have this done? Yes. You gotta pay for it. This is not one of those all-inclusive by default. This is also a great time to do some cross branch pruning or the way a plant tree can grow. You can have too many clusters of branches in some areas. So you want to open them up. So as they grow, you want to kind of control them in advance. See this cluster right here? Or what I do here, you see these two branches? So you see this one and uh, this one and this one? I would have to remove one of them. What's going to happen? They will grow into each other and one of them probably will die anyways. So you want to get this done right now. But if I just third one right here, I'll leave this one. I'll probably take this guy out. This is Asparia. You almost don't need to burn this guy, but they really feel a lot nicer than you have been done. Kind of shape, you know, give them a nicer, rounder look. Of course, you can do selective pruning. I'm not going to make this in this video, but at least I want to shape this guy up so in the spring. More or less symmetrical. Also, any branches that are growing too low, we're going to end up mulching. It's going to end up rooting them. So, you want to clean up from the bottom. See like this guy? He's a little too low. So, here we go. That's good. See, we have another white pine that is shedding some of the needles from the inside. If you just let them freely do it, they will drop them. But if you blow them out, you're going to have less to clean up later. The grass is here. I can cut them back right now, but I'm going to leave them. Because I just like the kind of look and dye and color. On some of the trees, if you wait for leaves to go through a couple, two, three frosts, they will literally lose their volume, weight, and blow them out.
guy. Whole thing. Is
Thank you.